Hey guys, well, uh, got a little project on the go here. I was down at the uh, Home Depot here the other day, and they had one of these cupboards here. Uh, it was all uh, disassembled, kind of broken up. It looked like it was uh, dropped or something. And uh, the only damage I can see to it is there's a little bit of uh, damage right here to the corner. It looks like it was dropped or something because all these little parts here, those little thingies slide into, are all uh, broke out. And those little, uh, little studs, like, uh, you know, these and these here won't go into them anymore because they're pulled out, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble it here um, using glue and then giving it a probably a screw or two in the end here and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so step one is to identify all the pieces. Uh, make sure everything's all there. Uh, basically, it's looking like she's all here. Have the uh, top piece over there. Got the uh, three doors. You have the bottom piece. And then you have the two supports. And then behind me is the back uh, backer board that uh, pretty much finishes it all off. And then your next step is to uh, kind of start your assembly. You're going to probably want to slide this uh, end piece on first uh, with the door and everything. Slight change of plans. I guess we're just going to uh, hold it together with screws. The uh, glue that I had, I thought was good, I guess has gone gone hard on me. Uh, it's uh, dried out pretty much, so uh, yeah. We'll go with uh, plan B. So slide those pins together just like you were put together originally out of the box. Then we'll take our drill and we'll drill a pilot hole and uh, put a screw in. So once you got everything set up for your drilling, show you a little pilot hole. Uh, just checking to make sure you didn't go through the back side there. And you change from the uh, drill bit to the screwdriver bit. After you're done the other side, and you do the uh, other side, basically you pop that on, 
and uh, then you drill your pilot holes again and uh, run your screws in. Change it back over to the uh, screwdriver bit. And you're running your screws again. Take your back piece and you pretty much just slide her right in. And after you got the little backer board in, run your screws in. Once she's all assembled, you should be able to just drop the uh, top piece right on there. Put the one row of pins in here, and it should just swing down, meeting up with these ones here. And then I've removed this row of pins right here, and I'll just put an extra screw in there. So yeah, she's... Uh, pretty much coming together. Okay, and it should just uh, pretty much slide right down. And kind of the pins go in the row of holes there. The uh, middle pin should line up with those holes. And uh, pretty much there. She should just uh, drop together. And yeah, run your screws in, and uh, it should be good. She's got uh, got her together. It's a three drawer, sorry, a three door cabinet. Got the third one. I have shelves for it also. Um, she's good for a laundry room. Good for uh, storage. Uh, this uh, cabinet is selling at Home Depot right now for $99.99. Um, 
I picked this guy up for uh, fifteen dollars basically because uh, it was damaged it was dropped um, needed to be reassembled uh, you know not uh, not good enough for a kitchen or anything like that but good enough for a laundry room uh, in your garage or workshop uh, pretty much yeah if you're in the right place at the uh, right time you can pick up uh, deals and bargains and stuff like that and uh, well thank you guys for watching